So I wanted to talk just a second, very briefly, to piggyback on what I talked about the other day, about what kind of man do I want to be. So let's talk just a second about what kind of man I don't want to be. Because that also came to my mind. And I don't want to be a dog. That's that's the first thing. And when I say a dog, I'm talking about, oh, and I got to be careful how I say this because of my audience. I can't, I a lot of times, let me just say this. Some of the conversations I have on here um, are not as candid as I'd like for them to be because in private or in small groups, my conversation may be much more uh, graphic, <laughs> maybe. And I can't, I don't really have that freedom here, I don't believe, because it's more public. So I guess the nicest way to say what a dog is, is a man who doesn't do anything but flirt with women, try to get with women. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in the bed. Um, and typically has hoish ways. I think I can say that. Um, but typically has hoish ways. That's, that's a nice way to say it. Uh, I'm more than one woman type of guy. Um, that's the type of person I don't want to be. That's the type of man I don't want to be. Okay. A man who is drunk all the time or careless um, one who cheats, and I, and I've I've kind of deviated away from the dog part of it, but these are the types or characteristics of a man I don't want to be, and and I'll say this also, and I I will, I'll just say this: I find it absolutely disturbing that there are so many women that lower themselves down to be with those types of men. Um, you know, I, I hear the complaint that, you know, a lot of men, you know, they don't have enough edge to them or whatever. Let me, let me say something, you know, when it comes down to it, there are men that are very integrated men as, uh, no more Mr. Nice guy would say that are balanced men. In other words, you do have a guy who's decent who's a stand-up guy, who but has a little edge to him. You've got men like that out there. You've got good men out there, okay? You choose bad men, period. And as a female, if you are choosing bad men, and I'll say two for the males, if you're choosing bad women, you've got to evaluate yourself and ask yourself why. Um, and if you continue to do so, like that's something you've got to reconcile between you and God, because you're not going to have much success. You're not going to have much of anything choosing those brands of people to be with and commune with in a romantic uh, scheme. It's not good. It's not healthy. It's toxic. It, 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 it could even kill you. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of situations like that we've seen. Um, it's just not good. So I don't want to be that kind of man. I don't want to be that kind of man. Um, I would encourage the women to, to evaluate themselves. What type of woman do you want to be? Uh, you know, nah. Um, yeah, I mean, we go a lot of places with this conversation, but back to the point. I've said what type of man I want to be. Let's just say what I have said here today is not the type of man that I would want to be. And in my opinion... It makes any man that lives by that type of ideology and thought process is sickening. It's sickening. It makes you look less than. It makes you look inferior. It makes you look primitive. It makes you look pathetic, to be frank. It makes you look like less of a man. So take that into consideration when you also consider what I'm saying. What type of man do you want to be? So I, I've said what type of man I want to be, what type of man I don't want to be. So 
Just saying. What type of man do you want to be? What type of man do you not want to be? Let's think about this. Let's reflect.